I need this. Inside this Miami cigar shop, twins Yvette and Yvonne Rodriguez stand out. We didn't come out this way for nothing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Born to black Cuban exiles, they were raised in Miami, a predominantly white Cuban community. It's almost like a test to be like, how Cuban are you? But you're black, but how Cuban are you? But do you speak Spanish? Speak Spanish. Feeling underrepresented, they created a cigar line called Tres Lindas Cubanas. The three blends. That's our strong, full body cigar. We call her La Negrita. And that's like a dark skinned woman. Celebrate the races of Cuba. We come in all different shades. The twins say equality must be a focus as Cuba now moves into a post Castro era. We're in limbo because nothing is, we're not sure if anything's gonna change. Today, blacks in Cuba live in the poorest communities. Many could not escape Fidel Castro's regime. The majority of Cuban exiles are white, and since people in Cuba often rely on family abroad for help, many Afro-Cubans don't have lifelines. Historian Jose Perez says Afro-Cubans also haven't benefited from recent economic reforms because of blatant racism and exclusion. Because a lot of the same social practices, a lot of the same institutions that we see in Georgia, Mississippi, or certainly South Carolina, Louisiana, have very strong parallels to what we see in the Caribbean, and that's important in terms of identity and, and a color caste system. It's a complex reality. The Rodriguez twins are determined to improve. We are creating a platform for maybe to build an organization. And explain one cigar at a time. Don Champion, CBS News, Miami.